Hello everyone, this is Baron William, also known as William the Sorcerer in SEAL Server. And today I will be revisiting the top 5 tips to play Ion Classic for North America server for free to play players. As you may know, SEAL's Aura is now only limited to 1 hour for free to play players since the update today. You will have 1 hour of SEAL's Aura account wide when you log in. If you are a free to play player, your account is considered a trial account. This means that you will only get Seals Aura once a day for one hour. Seals Aura resets at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time or 3 p.m. for UTC or GMT plus zero. If you are in China, Singapore or Western Australia, uh, that will be GMT plus eight. So that will be 11 p.m. for you. This means that alts in the same account cannot gain Seals Aura if you have already used up your one hour of Seals Aura. However, if you log out to the character screen, the Aura does not get used up. So here I'll be covering information on it and I'll show video evidence of what really happens and what are some of my tips to play around it. I'll first draw your attention to the drops information. Here you can see that you can only loot superior uh, which is green drops or lower. As you can see in my video, you can still look green gears as long as you are lucky with your drops. If you are in a group with players who have seals aura, this does not mean that your party members cannot look heroic, which is blue, or above. It just means that you cannot roll for it if you do not have the seals buff, and you cannot trade for it if they got the item. Next, we can see that gathering is unavailable, but crafting is available. So what really happens is that when you attempt to gather, the success rate cannot build up at all, and you will slowly build up failure rate, even if your level is a lot higher. Therefore, you are guaranteed to fail gathering as shown in this video. On the other hand, you can still do crafting even for gears that are blue and above. Lastly, you are unable to trade with other players, open a private store, or attempt to open another player's private store. However, you can still use the trade broker such as this video here. Quest rewards that reward abyss points will give you zero abyss points, and rally exchange will not be possible, which is of course because it counts as a quest. What all this means to a free to play player boils down to the following five tips. Number one, if you are below level 25, just continue to level up. And if you are level 25 and above, do instances the moment you log in, such as NTC, Fire Temple, or whatever that is the highest available to you. This is so that you can still get the loots that you need if you are still building up your gear. However, if you are only helping other players to get their gears, or if you are only in there to get some XP, you can do so without Seal's Aura. Number two, do your quest after your one hour of Seal's Aura is finished. Remember, you can still get full experience and Kina from quests, so you are not going to miss out leveling just because you don't have Seal's Aura. The XP rate for kills may be halved, but the bulk of the XP that you need for leveling comes from quests. Do repeatables if you must to push your XP for leveling. Number three, save up more Kina. To be able to play this game, you need Kina, the in-game currency. You need them to buy your skills, maybe buy equipments, and with enough Kina, you can buy whatever you need at the broker. Remember, use the broker for anything under the sky. If you don't have materials, buy them from the broker. If you don't have portions of food, just buy them from the broker. You are not missing out any of the action just because you don't have seals aura. Number four, craft your essentials. Yes, you can buy potions and you can buy food, but you can also simply craft them if you have the level. Moreover, you can also craft your own equipments if you have the patience to do so too. Granted, that will take a long time and probably a lot of kina to buy materials, but hey, that's what free to play means, am I right? And number five, play with patience. 
To be a free-to-play player, you have to ignore all the losses you can otherwise get with Seal's Aura and just work your way to level and gear up. Some people blatantly made many assumptions that the game is not playable without Seal's Aura and caused many players to leave in droves. If you truly love the game for what it is, you can work your way around the restrictions easily and I think my video proves this point really. That's all for my top 5 tips for a free-to-play player in Ion Classic. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in-game.